has something to do with the way that a jury is going to perceive and receive and consider and conclu make conclusions based on evidence at trial, Congressman. Time the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, Mr. Nadler. Thank you, <clears throat> Thank you Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hurry, in your written testimony, you say that you found some evidence that the president might have willfully retained classified materials at the end of his vice presidency, correct? Correct. But ultimately, you concluded that you could not prove that charge in the court of law. In your words, you, quote, did not identify evidence that rose to the level of proof beyond a reasonable doubt, close quote, correct? That was my judgment. You have been a prosecutor for a long time, Mr. Hur. Would you agree that there is no such thing as being a little bit charged for a crime? You're either charged or you're not, correct? <laughs> could you please repeat the question, Congressman? Would you agree that there is no such thing as being a little bit charged for a crime? You're either charged or you are not charged, correct? Yes, it is binary. Either one is not Thank charged you. or charged. So just to be clear, because so many people have taken your words out of context, your ultimate conclusion was that President Biden could not be charged with a crime because even after your thorough investigation, you could not find sufficient evidence to charge him, correct? My conclusion was that based on my evaluation of the evidence, you as a don't, don't feel about correct? I'm sorry, Congressman, I didn't hear your last question. I said based on your conclusion, your ultimate conclusion is that President Biden could not be charged with a crime because even after your thorough investigation, you could not find sufficient evidence to charge him. Correct or not correct? My ultimate conclusion was that criminal charges were not warranted. Correct. Now let's talk about why, I have limited time, so please, when I say correct or not correct, answer the question. Now let's talk about why, in sharp contrast to President Biden, President Trump faces 40 charges related to the unlawful retention of highly classified documents. That is, of course, apart from the additional 51 counts in cases alleging that he incited a rebellion and lied about his finances. You found that President Biden reported the possible classified documents in his possession to the FBI as soon as he learned of them, correct? There was a voluntary disclosure by the President's counsel to authorities relating to the discovery of classified documents at the Penn Biden. Let's contrast this with President Trump. Are you aware that the FBI only learned that Trump was in possession of classified material after the National Archives discovered them? Congressman, I am not intimately familiar with the facts relating to former President Trump. You, I'm prepared to comment on them to the extent that I address them okay. in the report. You write in your report that President Biden, quote, would not have handed the government classified documents from his own home on a silver platter if he had willfully retained those documents for years, close quote. In other words, part of understanding President Biden's intent was that he quickly and voluntarily returned those documents to the government, correct? That was a factor in our analysis, yes. Thank you. By way of contrast, to the best of your knowledge, why did the Department of Justice seek a warrant to search Mar-a-Lago? Congressman, I am not familiar with those deliberations. That is a matter that I had no participation well, in. Well, I'll tell you, it was because they were concerned that Trump had lied about possession of those documents and might conceal or destroy them. Special Counsel Smith found that President Trump obstructed his investigation by suggesting that his attorney falsely represent to the FBI and grand jury that Trump did not have the documents called for by the grand jury subpoena. At any point in your investigation, did you have any reason to believe that President Biden lied to you? I do address in my report one response the president gave uh, to a question that we had posed to him that we deemed to be not credible. Was it clear he didn't lie? I I'm sorry, Congressman. The report is clear that he didn't lie or that he caused his staff to lie to you and that he didn't cause his staff to lie to you. Your report is clear on that. Uh, do you agree not. that causing someone to lie to the FBI is a classic example of obstruction of justice? It is an example of obstruction, yes. Thank you. Trump also obstructed the Smith investigation by directing one of his employees to move boxes of documents to conceal them from Trump's attorney, from the FBI, and from the grand jury. At any point in your investigation, did you find that President Biden directed his staff to conceal documents from you or anyone else? We did not reach that okay. conclusion. Okay. You would agree that hiding documents is a classic example of obstructing an investigation? It is an example of obstruction. Thank you. Donald Trump instructed his staff to delete security footage so that the FBI and special counsel could not see how he had tried to move and hide documents. Do you agree that attempting to delete video footage in this manner is plainly an attempt to obstruct an investigation? Congressman, I, I don't want to characterize the evidence in the case against former But President. if that happened, would you agree that deleting video footage is plainly an attempt to obstruct an investigation? Congressman, it's the type of evidence that prosecutors would okay. consider. Okay. To sum up, 
Donald Trump is charged with willfully retaining classified documents and conspiring to conceal those documents. And he's facing additional charges for lying to investigators. Isn't that correct? Those are allegations that are in a pending matter of public against record. former President Trump. And the reason why President Biden is not facing a single charge, Mr. Herr, is not because you went easy on him, but because after reviewing 7 million documents and interviewing nearly 150 witnesses, including the president himself, you could not prove that he had committed a crime. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from uh, Mr. McClintock, gentleman from California, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Hur. I first want to get this straight. Is it now okay if I uh, take home top secret?